Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to discuss a topic that I have been kind of thinking about recently and that is why I prefer 3.75 inch Star Wars figures over 6 inch. So if you guys have been following my channel, you would know that I do collect both. I am both a 6 inch Black Series collector and a 3.75 inch vintage collection and um, waves prior to vintage collection collector. Um, and more recently I have been collecting... 3.75 inch figures um, and it's really kind of making me realize why and what I like so much more about 3.75 inch figures that 6 inch figures do not offer so I'm going to get into that in this video today so yeah let's just get right into it. So for context here is my 3.75 inch figure display. Um, I more recently um, added these two shells or, or all of these shells actually on the bottom here because it used to be I had Lego stuff here But I decided that this whole area should just be dedicated to 3.75 inch figures So as you can see, that's what we got going on. We got Starfighters and then I also have quite a bit of sealed figures and then as for black series um, Here is my displays over here. So yeah, pretty cool pretty diverse, you know And then I also have quite a bit of sealed figures as well and then in here, I have a bit more figures, um, 3.75 inch and Black Series. So I've been collecting 3.75 inch figures since I was little. I, I'm pretty sure I was three or four whenever my dad gave me my first ever 3.75 inch figure. And that was this guy right here. I remember we had woken up really early because we were going to go um, to the airport for a vacation or something. And whenever we woke up, he gave me this guy and I thought he was so cool. Um, he is like an old Kenner. Uh, figure. I think he was like from uh, Kashyyyk or Endor or something. It probably would have been Endor. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what got me into collecting 3.75 inch figures. And it's the line that, that I grew up with, you know. It's, it's really action figures were created in this scale. So it's what a lot of people grew up with. And in more recent years, we got figures like this crosshair, which were six inch. Um, I believe it was like early 2010s that the Black Series kind of pioneered um, the the path for Star Wars six inch to kind of take over. Because once Disney kind of got hold of the reins, they really went all in with the six inch. And actually more so in the 2020s, because beforehand with the Rise of Skywalker, um, six inch figures were not doing well. They, they were not selling well. That's why you can still go to stores and you can still find um the sequel figures there because they just did not sell well but then they kind of had a rebrand in the 2020s got new packaging and everything and along with disney making better um content black series really took off and so yeah as you can see here we have one of my um bad batch well not i was gonna say bad, bad, bad batch members he's not a member anymore but he is from the bad batch show and that is crosshair now these six inch figures they're very um detailed they're obviously bigger so it leaves room for more detail but that actually is not always the case there are a lot of times where believe it or not the vintage collection figure will out detail the six inch figure um, for instance there was a pre vizsla um, figure which i actually do have the black series for it um in there and his vintage collection figure actually had more detail than the actual six inch figure um, which is kind of crazy considering the fact that, you know, it's a bigger figure. Um, they really could make them sort of like mini hot toys if they put um, enough detail into them. But they just don't. Um, not all the time. Now, there are other times where they really do. So I don't want to discredit that for, uh, you know, um, I, I don't want to discredit the amount of detail that they actually do have. Because it is quite a bit. But the main thing that I've been thinking of recently as to why... I am more inclined to buy 3.75 inch figures is because of just how much diversity there is for them. 3.75 inch figures, like I said, have been around since the 70s um, for Star Wars. And especially in the 2000s, in the 2010s, we got so much stuff from out, out of this scale. Um, I'm talking vehicles, figures, um, ships, landscapes, play sets. You, na you, you name it, they have probably made it in 3.75 inch scale for Star Wars. And I've really been coming to that realization recently because I have a local vintage toy store that sells 3.75 inch figures. And every time I go there, I find something that I hadn't even known existed in 
um, Star Wars toys before for the 3.75 inch scale. And it is just so cool. There's so much stuff. It is insane. Um, and the figures are so detailed and um, posable and just cool. Think of any character. They have it. Now, the thing about um, six, since six inch figures is not only is there not as much diversity, they're also a lot more expensive. Um, a six inch figure nowadays is going to cost you upwards of 30 bucks per figure, um, minimum. If a figure just came out, it's probably about 25 and that jump, um, in price, cause they used to be 20 each and in the, in the last four years, they have, um, gone up by about 10 bucks. So anytime I go to a, a different local toy store that always has a new black series, um, if they have a new black series out, it's going to cost me 29 50 so basically 30 bucks, which is just absolutely absurd um but that's just one figure so you get three figures with tax that's about a hundred bucks for three figures that's just that's that's unrealistic then i go to my other store that sells vintage toys such as 3.75 inch figures and it costs you eight ten dollars a figure you know right about and then they always give me a discount and you know i find vehicles um for 15 bucks and I, I got an entire starfighter there for 15 bucks um that one right there um, just great, great prices. And the diversity again is just so incredible. You can literally have a figure for everything. Now I know that black series has not been around for nearly as long as, um, 3.75 inch figures, but they typically, um, make stuff that they, they cater towards what Disney has made. So yes, has the, um, black series made stuff from the prequels? Yes. Have they made stuff from the original trilogy? Yes. But more recent years, they do focus more on current Disney stuff. And they also do not make too many play sets. And the ones that they do make are incredibly expensive because of the size of the figure. Um, which is, you know, the, it's, it's, it's what you're going to expect. Whenever it's a bigger, bigger figure, you're going to have to make a bigger play set and it's going to cost more money. Another point I want to touch on is room. So obviously, if we take crosshair here they all just toppled but if we take crosshair here and put them up next to anakin um they're a, a little less than um or, or a little more than double the size of a 3.75 inch figure um and for room's sake these guys you can fit a lot more of them next to each other than you can with these guys um which is another plus about these 3.75 inch figures it's just the fact that you can um, put more in one area. Another thing I want to touch on is the fact that there are figures from certain legends, um, media, Star Wars medias that will never ever be made in black series that have been made in 3.75 inch. For instance, this droid here, which is from um, the Tardigovsky Clone Wars, you would never ever ever see this made in black series. They have made a few Tardigovsky Clone Wars black series but it was just um, like Jedi and, and uh, you know, clones. But for them to go out of the way to make something like this, they just won't do because it, it's a little bit more niche. It's, you know, not not too many people will probably know what it's from, know what it is and buy it. Um, so that is an, another uh, place that 3.75 inch just comes in clutch. Now I can think of a lot of other characters that have been made in 3.75 inch that would never be made in black series um for instance yes they have finally made a star killer which i am glad i i genuinely did not think they would do that but they made star killer but what are the odds that they're also going to make um jedi star killer as well as sith, sith stalker star killer it's small now i'm not going to say they're not going to do it because nobody thought they would make star killer but they did but just to have the diversity the options it's just something that that they lack and taking a look at these Jedi here, um, quite a bit or quite a diverse group of Jedi. I'd say probably about half of them have been made in Black Series, maybe even less. Um, actually, probably more or less. Um, I know they've made Anakin and Obi-Wan, obviously. Um, they have they have made a Clone Wars Anakin. They have not made a Clone Wars Obi-Wan. They've not made a Quinlan Voss. They've not made Luminar Unduli, Barasafi, Coleman Trevor. Um, they've not made... Um, Ithkoth, uh, Aegon Kolar, Master Sev, 
Keati Mundi, the Black Series Keati Mundi has been up for pre-order since like 2021. They still haven't made him. They haven't made Phoenix Search. I mean, there's just, there's stuff that you will not get with the Black Series that is just so readily available in 3.75 inch. I don't even know how to mention they have not made Quillen Voss. Um, yeah, it's it's just nuts. There's so many figures down here as well they've ever made. Yariel Poof, Deba Balaba. <laughs> Uh, you know, little Padawans and stuff, little, um, yeah, just, uh, like, stuff like this. This 3.75, um, Tardigovsky Anakin with the tattoos, they would never do that. Um, Tion Madon, they've never done that. Um, yeah, just, just so much stuff here. Um, Dexter, that'd be such a cool one if they made it. They just, they haven't made it, and like I said, the world building is just so much cooler whenever it comes to 3.75 inch figures. I mean, look at this. We got Anakin and Padme here, and they it's the scene where they're like on a date in Naboo, and you have a little prop for it, the little um, like fence thing um, that, that they stood by. You, they would never make that in the Black Series, but you have it in 3.75, and it's so cool. And it's just, I love it. I mean, that bar piece right there, I, I was able to get that just by getting these two figures here. Again, you would never see that in the Black Series. So, I have really came to that realization um, in the last couple weeks. Just the, the fact that there's so much you can do with 3 points of image figures that it, it's just not possible in Black Series. Um, for instance, also, these Starfighters. I don't even think that they've made a Starfighter like this in Black Series, but if they did, it would be a lot of money and you would not get the, the diversity that comes with the 3.75 inch ones. Um, and yeah, so that's just something that I've really been thinking about recently. Now, I'm not saying that Black Series is bad. That is obviously not the case. Black Series is incredible. I love it. I mean, that's why I have so much of it. But I am saying that I am going to kind of shift my focus a little bit and maybe not try to get every black series i mean that's never what i've done but i might hold off on black series that i do think are cool but the price is just insane for instance there was just a leak of a jedi fallen order three pack that came with imperial or inquisitor cal Kestis, the second sister and a purge trooper for 90 bucks that's insane that's three figures for 90 bucks that's i mean it, it, it's nuts um, and I love the Jedi games but I don't want to dish out that much money on figures now would I like to have them of course but it's just too much money um and again like I said I do love black series um for instance these are some of my favorite figures of all time these KOTOR black series I think they killed it with Bastila as well as Malik these guys look like they were pulled out of the game and brought to real life and it's just so so cool I even went ahead and made my own custom Juhani, um, and we have Zolbar there. So it's really cool to get stuff like that. Um, now, I would prefer it if they made it in the vintage collection, just because you could get them all for cheaper, and um, it's just, I, that's my favorite scale. But um, getting them in Black Series is really cool too. So, you know, there are pros and cons. Um, for instance, also, those clone troopers there are incredible. The new mold is great. Um, there are times where they make stuff in Black Series, and they usually, if they make it in Black Series, they try to make it in Vintage Collection. And they don't always do that. Like, there are times where if you want a certain figure, you have to get it in Black Series, because that's the only way to get it. Um, and my example for that is the Bad Batch. Um, they have, at the moment, they've only made Hunter in Vintage Collection, but the rest of these figures, if you want them, you gotta get them in Black Series. Unless you get Micro Galaxy Squadrons, but that's a whole different scale. But, um, yeah, so for me, I was 100% fine with getting these. And, and I like them, too. My closing statements are this. Basically, I love both. Si 6 inches is cool, 3.75 inches is cool. What do I prefer? I 100% prefer 3.75 inch. My reasons being is that it is cheaper, it is way more diverse, um, it's nostalgic, it's what I grew up collecting. And I really just think that they are better quality. Um, they are just, there's just something cool about having a smaller version that is just as, if not more detailed than, than the bigger version. Now, am I saying that I'm done collecting Black Series? No, I love Black Series, I think they're really cool. Am I saying that I'm gonna taper it back and not collect as much? Yes. I'm really not gonna collect as much Black Series and I'm gonna kinda go all in on 3.75 inch figures because 
I'm realizing there's just so much you can do with them and they really are just the bread and butter of action figures and yeah there's just so much out there for it I mean and anything I could think of wanting um as a Star Wars 3.75 inch figure they have um so um that's really just that that's just what seals the deal for me um and yeah so if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to hit like and let me know what you collect do you collect black series do you collect 3.75 inch do you collect both um and let me know why but anyways guys i'll see you in the next one peace